President Biden plotted an inflation-fighting strategy today with the chairman of the Federal Reserve. The meeting came with the fate of the economy and his own political prospects increasingly dependent on the actions of the Fed. More now from WGN's Patrick Elwood. With inflation the worst it's been since the early 1980s, the American economy and its consumer confidence is on shaky ground. In a bit of an about face, President Biden seeing inflation as a threat on several levels met directly with Fed Chair Jerome Powell today. In April of last year, Biden pledged to leave the Fed alone to independently do its job. But with things as they are, he has reversed field. At the White House afterwards today, Biden doubling down on his stance that the Fed is an independent body. I'm meeting with the chairman today and Secretary Yellen uh, to discuss my top priority, and that is addressing inflation and, uh, and the, in order to transition from historic recovery <clears throat> to a steady growth that works for American families. Biden's public position is in stark contrast to his predecessor, Donald Trump, who repeatedly attacked Powell. Trump's criticism came when the Fed moderately raised the prime lending rate in 2018. Today, the Fed is on track to keep raising rates, perhaps another 2% by year's end. Economists say the government's response to the pandemic of pumping billions and billions of free dollars into businesses and individuals, combined with ongoing supply chain issues and the energy crisis, triggered in part at least to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, has created this inevitable state of affairs. The end result, pain to the pocketbook being felt far and wide. From everyday items like bread, milk, eggs, chicken, pork, fish and meat to higher credit card rates and money borrowed to buy big ticket items like homes and cars. They literally sent money to people's mailbox, uh, right? And it's mailbox money. And the pure definition, Patrick, of inflation is too much money chasing too few goods. Like that's the clear, obvious one. In fact, I'm surprised the Fed, the president, uh, the treasurer didn't see that coming. Astor Investment Management CEO Rob Stein, who began his career under Federal Reserve former Chairman Paul Volcker, believes too many financial advisors to the president last year during tougher times, they thought things would be transitory. They were wrong. So for most Americans, it means a weaker dollar will mean having to cut from the household budget to just necessities. In other words, going out to dinner less and staying home more. As for retirees, higher interest rates can be beneficial. Instead of just living off of your interest, you've had to sell stock. So if they can rebalance and they can take advantage of the higher rates, you know, once upon a time, 8% was like, oh, you know, there it is. They will be able to take advantage. People who are getting ready to retire, retire in the next few years, will be able to take less risk if rates continue on this path. So retirees just need to change their allocation to take advantage of the higher rates that are now available. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.